unlock the speed. Okay. Alright, so for those of you who are just tuning in, this is going to be a 6v2 versus my custom AI. I have worked very, very hard on this. Uh, the basic the idea behind this AI, I made him from scratch, is that I wanted to create an AI that could reliably fight several humans at exactly the same time. And because I felt like AW2 has always been missing a proper co-op versus AI mode, so I was striving to create an AI that could actually do that, an AI that could fight as many humans at once uh, while still being fair. So it's going to be a six on two then. Uh, six of us, me and my viewers, versus two of the AI that I did my s that I created myself. He is my son, and he is awesome. I have poured my my sweat, blood, and tears into him, and he is is pretty pretty damn tough. If you are watching this right now and you're like, the hell, a bot game, so boring, like, uh, and you know, you're anticipating uh, the biggest snooze fest ever and you're like, god, these noobs, this is a stupid bot match, you're in for surprise because my AI, he lifts, okay, like, I took, I took Erwin Rommel and like, General Patton and I, I, put them in a text file and thus my AI was born. Uh, he's, he is one scary, scary son of a bitch, so I guarantee you that uh, this will be more than worth your while uh, to watch. He's pretty, pretty good. He attempts many, many strategies, uh, a wide variety of them, uh, quite efficiently. So he can pick from things like a, a drush, or he'll do like a, a flush. He can fast castle age. Uh, he can do really, really anything. Uh, he adapts his army and whatnot. Uh, people on my stream have played against him before, and I have since corrected a lot of his uh, shortcomings. But of course, there is always still work to be done. Uh, but I'm quite, quite satisfied. This AI is really, really hard, and of course we're playing against it on the hardest difficulty because my viewers are crazy, and they, they want to take on the hardest difficulty, so, um, sure. So it's gonna be, it's gonna be one hell of a ride, I, that I can guarantee. There will be no survivors, in fact. Someone is going to die. And will my AI rush? We'll find out. Uh, the answer is probably it is on hardest, so he has a much higher chance of doing that. But really, he just picks his strategy based on what uh, his opponents are doing, so if he sees that some of us are, are uh, attempting to rush him, or planning on rushing him, or if he gets attacked, uh, that definitely influences his decisions. He is designed to be stone cold, and to hold a grudge. So basically, if you attack him early on, you know he never forgets, uh, and he's gonna he's gonna remember that, and he's gonna get you back. And yeah, of course, my AI is not complete yet. He's still in the very early phases, so uh, he needs a uh, needs a lot of work. On hardest, he is definitely extremely intimidating, though. Uh, so while there is always room for improvement, it might be that he's too tough on hardest. I wouldn't know. I uh, haven't done quite enough testing to know that for certain. Perhaps I should just send that guy before that village responds. But yeah, he is scary, so you can't really boom against him. Uh, like you, I guess, you could do against the standard computer. Really, the idea behind this is that the standard computer that comes Age of Empires, it sucks. Uh, like, it sucks a lot. Like, it sucks more than a vacuum cleaner. Uh, and that's because, you know, he just, sure, the, the standard computer, uh, on like the higher difficulties, uh, his initial attack can be quite devastating, especially on the hardest difficulty, uh, you know, when he gets that OP, like, 10 minute castle age and is rushing you with, like, Mangadai at 11 minutes in, which, of course, no human could feasibly do, um, that can be pretty scary, honestly. Uh, and a problem, and you could lose in that situation, and that's really the standard AI's only good thing, uh, because past that, he does absolutely nothing. 
Like, uh, he basically forgets how to build an economy. He's like, how do I villagers? Uh, he, sometimes you'll see him, like, delete his villagers and stuff. It's pretty, pretty goofy. Uh, so yeah, the standard computer. Man, he, he sucks in the late game, so... Not a really realistic uh, fight at all. They don't play like humans. Uh, and yeah, they're not a good co-op co -op thing, because I think what's really, really fun uh, that a lot of games have is you can get a bunch of your friends together, and you can really, like... I guess all work together to take on uh, take on a, a scary scary foe, uh, and that's what my AI is designed. He's sort of like uh, like that boss, that raid boss. Yes. And it's gonna take some serious serious teamwork. So it's a nice balance, I think, between uh, the sort of casualness that you get from playing a bot game, uh, while still getting something uh, something out of it. Like you can really learn a lot from my AI, and if you suck balls, my AI will actually critique you and provide you with advice, which I think is really, really cool. Of course, I there's radical differences uh, between each of the difficulty levels, so your skill level, he, can be tailored to your needs. Uh, in this case, we're playing against it on hardest because, uh, as we know, I have the best viewer base ever uh, in both just like attitude and everything, but also they happen to be full of skilled players. I think is pretty cool. My viewer base kicks ass. So we're doing hardest because we are manly. We're manly, manly men. Uh, but of course, you know, if you're new at this game, uh, my AI can prove uh, serve as a great, great learning tool. Because unlike the actual standard AI, this guy actually plays like a person would. The standard AI does not play like a person at all. Because really they're like... Uh, they're players, you know, that you'll find that build up incredibly slowly. Uh, and take a long time to get going, uh, and then you'll get like players who, uh, you know, build up really, really quickly and uh, start making an impact from relatively early on points in the game. But you're really the players that you, uh, that you'll find are very, very rare. Uh, rarely like the actual standard bot, as in they they have a strong initial attack and then they just literally stop doing anything after that point. Like, the standard AIs will sometimes just stand around and he'll just forget to advance and stuff. It's great. And it's not often that you'll see uh, the, you know, like, normal humans just, uh, you know, chop a hole, like, they'll, they'll wall around their base, right? And then they'll be chopping down some trees and then it creates a hole in their wall and then they'll just be, they'll just not fill the hole uh, the standard AI has got all sorts of great stuff, like you shoot at his troops, he doesn't even notice. That happens all the time. My AI, he doesn't do that. He does have some stupid nuances to him uh, that just come with all AIs. Uh, like, a, many AIs have a strange fascina uh, fascination with gates. They just kind of stare at them, they're like, ooh, pretty. Uh, and walls in general, uh, where they're really not sure how to deal with them. Uh, my AI, unfortunately, does suffer from that. He likes shiny things, or in this case, walls. <laughs> um, but yeah, he still he still puts up one hell of a fight. Let's see what he is up to in the meantime. He of course can rush. Well, I don't know what he's going to do. It's on the hardest difficulty though, so I I am going to be very 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 scared. And yeah, I've been working on this uh, for a really, really long time. It's sort of been a side project. Basically, when I'm not playing Age of Empires and bringing you guys commentaries and gameplay videos, I am just dicking around with this guy. What is that? A barracks and a market. So Orange is probably going for some sort of early, uh, early aggression of some sort. Uh, when my AI decides to put down an early barracks and whatnot, it can mean a number of things. He can either be going defensive with that or offensive. I believe he said in all chat that they're both decided to sort of have a quiet feudal age. Because, uh, yeah, my AI does announce things to you, which is always fun. He taunts you and everything. He gets cocky. It's, it's great. And yeah, you can make him pissed, so, you know, if you try and rush him and cheese him or something like that, you know, he'll remember. He never forgets. Uh, and then he gonna get you. Ooh, we got an archery range from the gray. So it looks like they're going for some sort of defensive feudal age style thing. Say blacksmith. Okay. 
And I do believe that uh, they are beginning to advance. I think I'm going to hold off on making some villagers. Try and advance really soon. Actually, I'm going to have to buy buy a, buy 100 food. Now I can advance. Poifict. I'm going to need a barracks. Because I expect, uh, expect bad things to happen soon. Go. Drop off that wood. We'll maybe put more people on the bushes. Actually, no, I want to prioritize that double bit axe. That's what I want. Give me my 10 food. But yeah, of course you can rush him, or you can let him build up. Yeah, so that's a, that's a good way to show some disrespect towards my AI, is to fast pass without a military. He takes that as an upfront insult to his ego. He's like, man, you disrespected me? Yeah. And, uh, and then that's when, he, that's when he lays the hurt on. He's just like, yo, I'm gonna show you disrespect. And he, he gets his pimp hand out and uh, things get real bad. I think I'll uh, put down another archer range. I think I'm definitely going to want to get some Mingadai out for some castle uh, anti-siege action. But yeah, oh god, my Aeon Hardest is pants shitting terrifying. I, I, uh, I commend the balls on my viewers uh, for wanting to actually do this. Hello, bum bombastus995. Thank you for tuning in. Yes, I will get cartography very, very quickly. As soon as I get the gold. I'll put another TC like right here. All right, let's get some of that cartography. Because I agree, it would be good to know if my teammates are on fire right now. Literally. Like, base is burning. <laughs> Always good to know. My economy is balls right now. We need to, we need to improve that. Alright, cartography, it's making progress. Let's uh, check out his base, I guess. See what's going on. Got no money at all. Really, my AI teaches you the uh, the toughest thing I think to learn in Age of Empires, which is building up a economy while simultaneously building up a military. I think that's very very hard to learn, uh, but very very important. All right, no sign of him attacking anyone yet. This is good. Very very good. I would prefer to keep it that way. <laughs> well, yeah, I definitely could use uh, a castle, I think. And maybe some fletching and crap. Oh boy. Alright, yeah, he's got, he's got stuff. Dude's got stuff. That's never good. Oh, the large is in trouble. That's actually really bad. I have like no food at all. I need fletching like now. Almost enough for fletching. Fletching, please, Fletching. Okay, that's fine. Send the rest of those suckers. Did my scout die? 
Yes, he did. Uh, definitely need more more farms. Oh, it's always so stressful playing against my bot because he's actually like scary. And Delarge is going to need some serious, serious help. I might want to buy a little bit of food. Yes, thank you. Thank you for following my stream. I really appreciate it. Of course, you can know when I'm live streaming by following me on Facebook and Twitter. It's where I uh, post all sorts of updates in Mumbo Jumbo, and I appreciate those of you who are tuning in. You guys are awesome. I think I'm gonna build a castle now, so I can start working on real units like Mangadai. Um, yeah. The games have been going poorly today. One of the reasons why I haven't uploaded anything in a little bit uh, is because uh, Twitch TV decided to delete the broadcasts from my last stream uh, for some reason. So, can't upload those. And today, I've just been having issues just getting a game in general that where people haven't DC'd or something. There is so much stuff that I was almost, almost going to upload, and then Age of Empires was just like, it would be funny, everybody disconnects. And I'm just like, that's not funny, and they're just like, it is to me. So that's when I get sad. down a stable. Bit of ping action from Karug. Karug. But really? Someone has less than 40? Oh, of course Delarge does. Delarge's on fire. I told you guys you needed help. <laughs> He's in so much trouble right now. Hmm. Yes, he is in deep doo-doo. I believe that's a scientific term for it. Uh... We're gonna have to really, really help him. Yes, the TA-84 calculators indeed, but... I, I joke about that, except, like I always say, you know, Age of Empires 2, for some re Well, HD it is, you know, has, for some reason has, like, Crisis 2 PC specs. Don't know what's up with that, so... Uh, when, I, when I say TI-84 calculators, I mean... Alienware? Your Alienware is bad and should feel bad. Oh man, Tetradius is actually in trouble too. I think our entire team is in trouble. I'm coming team, I am trying to save you guys. Fear not my friends, your guardian is here. By that I mean, don't know how much of help, uh, how much help I can be of, but I will try. I could really use that time center finished. University out. Gotta take that ram out. Die, ram. But yeah, I warned you guys, my AI is sexy. He's like a, he's like an Abercrombie and Fitch model, but like, also a general. Uh, yeah. He's got, like, a PhD man in, like, uh, molecular chemistry. Like, this dude. This dude is awesome. It's like he went to college, you know, and he got all these, like, fancy degrees, and then he went, like, full Walter White mode. Uh, and he's just like, you know, screw this, screw this whole education thing. I am going to just kill things. Uh, and so, that was the story of how this AI was born. Although I like to change up the origin story from time to time, I always tell people that uh, it's like if, uh, 
you know, General Patton and General Rommel uh, got together and they, they somehow had a baby, uh, it'd be this guy. Except if their son had, like, Tourette's and self-esteem issues. Because uh, my AI does, man, like, he, he takes things as a threat to his ego. Like, an, an, an affront to him, so... You know, like, he saw that, he saw that, you know, Alarun was disrespected. Oh shit, I hope the rest of our team who's been booming up behind this can pull something out of their ass. But yeah, um, he saw that Alarun was disrespecting with that fast castle with no military. Perhaps I should make him tone down the, uh... Tone down the disrespect meter, though, because it appears that he is quite offended. You that bow saw, man. Ah, uh, oh my God! I should probably focus down that mangonel, actually. Come on, team. Yeah, maybe. I think I need a siege workshop. And like, another lumber camp? <laughs> oh god, my economy is in tatters. This is not good. Perhaps I need to pull those guys off and go have them get some wood. Oh god, my AI, he's mad, bro. He lifts. Like, you guys, you guys have seen, uh, Tetradius play, man, and he lifts. He lifts for a living, but this guy, you know, he's got a 24-hour fitness membership, and he's got, like, a v-neck so, so deep, it goes down to his shorts, like, this guy mad, bro. must get economy less crippled oh god are we finally holding him off slightly <laughs> I can dream right anyway this is a 500 population custom scenario which is really really difficult uh, to do but I did it uh, special thanks to that guy in the steam workshop who uploaded that 500 population template he's a hero Man, my economy just sucks right now. It's getting a little better, actually. Must kill Manganel. I hope is that these people uh, who have been booming completely untouched. Uh, can kick some ass and pull some strings and make something happen. Oh! Oh god, that typo. He, he's supposed to say he knows uh, he will win in this situation. Well, I guess it's not a typo if I just completely omit the word, so... Can I just get five more stone? Please, Age of Empires gods. Well, as soon as I unselect the villager, they're like, Here is your stone resonance. Thank you for praying to us. Oh, God, we're making some progress. I think it's because they have drawn the attention over here. So yeah, this is what I meant by hardest is hard as hell. A hardest is designed uh, to be basically as hard as it gets while still being possible to win if you guys play extremely well. So that was the goal. 
I hope we can win this. This is gonna, this is going to be this is going to be extremely difficult, uh, but extremely epic. I believe. I believe. Ooh, I can advance in just a second. Bueno. Wunderbar. Alright. I'm gonna need a lot more guys. Oh my god, this is scary. What kind of monster would create such a thing like this? All right, me. Whoops. <laughs> but yeah, uh, normally you don't play against him on hardest, but you know my viewer base—they're like, we've got this, and I'm like, I don't know, man. Yeah, we might actually lose. I'm not sure. Maybe. I have faith. I have faith. Come on, guys. You guys can do it, come on! Do you believe in magic? Okay, yeah, that's good. That's a lot of archers. We're gonna need a lot of archers. Ooh, this is bad. This is bad. Yes. This is very, very bad. I need to get to the Imperial Age. Like, right now. Oh Jesus, he's getting cocky. This is probably the most epic match of Age of Vampires I've ever played, and I didn't think it would be this epic. Oh no, this is so scary. Hmm. Maybe if I like start getting like mass manganels out or something. Uh, I need so much money that I don't have. You start heavily shifting these lumberjacks into uh to full-on farm duty. We're going agricultural revolution right now. Do 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 do. God, if we get a strong enough economy, I think we can do it. We just have to, uh... Just have to pray. I need drill. Maybe I can pull this out of my ass with enough mangonels. I have faith. Okay, we lead that market now. Some good trade economy. Oh, this is so scary. <laughs> 